What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. So yesterday I was out on a hike with a couple of my close friends and I found something I couldn't resist. So I broke out the pack saw and I brought her home. What we got here is a nice gnarly piece of birch. We got a bunch of knobs, a little green spalting here. You can see we got some other spalting in here and around the heartwood. Some pretty interesting stuff. So, I think this is going to be this week's project. Let's see if we can make something cool out of it. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and get this guy shortened up a little bit so we can get it up on the lathe and start rounding her out that way. It's a little too knobby and got some good radiuses in it and I don't really want to have to deal with uh, running this on the circle cutter jig so just gonna make a straight cut here we'll get it uh, get a face plate on it up on the lathe and we'll get to some turning All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our face plate set up here. This is an abnormal surface, so we're going to have to do a little of the uh, improvise and adapt overcome routine. Some of you guys might recognize this, and this is going to be the second time we're utilizing our little cutoffs here as a shim. I think we're going to be all right. There she is. All right. Now I got a nice angle leaning down towards the uh, live center. So we're not just going to go ahead and round this out because I want to maintain as much of the rim as I can. But we'll figure that out as we go and see what we got to do to make this guy round. Um, I'm thinking we might actually be casting this into resin and saving some of these sides. But we'll let the piece figure that out for us. Let's see how she spins. It might be a little wobbly. A little warbly. It is a little warbly, but we'll work it out. getting some really nasty catches on this here 
Use my finger as a tool rest once or twice. A little swollen. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go ahead and get these punky areas filled in with some CA glue. As we're approaching our final diameter, I don't wanna have all this heavy tear out, so it's no good. Got some really cool character in this thing though. It's, my biggest problem at the moment is I can't get the speed up fast enough to cut past this guy while applying any kind of tool pressure. So it's been very slow going. Been a pretty tough turn just because of the imbalance here. Um, we are zeroing in on our mold size, so the top of the mold is nine inches and it tapers down to eight. So I have nine inches here. I'm just gonna start tapering this down ever so gently, and then hopefully, once we get this cast in resin, it will kind of redistribute the weight and we'll be able to get this spun up higher. And that's uh fingers crossed on that for sure because this is going to take forever if we can't get the blade speed up. It fits. Huh. Let's mix up some resin. Alright guys, 
guys. Well, today is tomorrow. Let's take a look inside the pressure pot and see how our casting is doing. Getting our blank loaded up here. I'll give her a little spin so we can check it out. A lot of cool flows. I'm liking it. I'm trying to figure out how to save as much of the character of this piece as I can with the shape. Um, like down here, we have a nice big pocket where the resin fills and it flows down the side. Um, so I'm just going to get started off by getting this cut back down to uh, the wood and round it out. And then we'll start seeing how the shape develops. But yeah, it's looking good. No uh, air bubbles or anything. All except for this one spot right here. And that seems to be an air bubble trapped in a tiny little pocket of water. Weird. Hopefully we can spin this a little faster this time too. Contact. Cool, that's fun. Pretty tough time with this one. Resin chip out. I feel like I'm getting catches between the wood and the resin. So we lost this piece down here. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to keep it. If I can't keep this connection, I don't really see any reason for keeping this. I, I don't know, we'll see if we can make it work. Give me one heck of a heck of a ride though.
I'm thinking this might be our shape. Uh, let's do a little patchwork in here, but I'm afraid if I go too much lower, we're going to lose this. A lot of really pretty real estate here that I'm not trying to lose either. Round off the bottom of this. See what we're left with. Just keep moving forward. Definitely not gonna be what I had imagined it from the ridge, from the get. So this is what we're working with so far. Um, reasonably happy with the shape. Got such nice, beautiful real estate here. I'm just gonna leave it flat like this just to bring out all this natural, awesome character. So we're gonna get this flipped around and start some hollowing. Go from there. All right, here's what we're working with. A little sketchy with these knobs. Let's start getting into some hollowing ever so gently to flatten this out and then we'll and we'll hog it out.
window. There was me. is all sanded out. Alright, so I'm going to get started with some 60. We have some some punky wood in here that's a little rough. Get that knocked down. Get all our variation knocked down. Got a couple little scuffs. Some tool marks. You know, things like that. So we'll work from the the 60 out to uh, 320.
Time for some sand exhaler. All right, guys, so we got our sanding sealer all knocked down. I'm um, just gonna get this here bolt up on the rotisserie here. Uh, just get prepped up, get the bowl cleaned up, and get ready to flow our resin finish. It's done. Let's go check it out. Well, here you have it, guys. So much going on in this guy. Um, it was a bit tough to, to turn out and not exactly what I had imagined. But man, is this beautiful. Um, this heartwood is like a coronal mass ejection touched off here with some awesome spalting. We get some really nice shine. I like the way the resin flows. Wish we could have kept a little more of this, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Uh, also some really interesting spalting lines on the inside here. A lot of beautiful character. I will leave some slow rollers at the end as usual. Um, Big shout out to my brother Dunnick for spotting this down tree about 50 yards up the mountain off the trail. Thank you, brother. We're gonna have to go back and uh, look for some more of this stuff. Um, second of all, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all your support. The channel is doing great. Um, I was doing a little tweaking around with the audio in this one. Some of you guys really like the music layout. Some of you guys would rather hear the tool sounds. I'm trying to find a good balance. Doing my best, learning all this editing stuff as I go. So um, all of your input is greatly appreciated and that's just how I'm gonna get better. Um, I wanna satisfy all you guys, but I will always remain true to myself. Um, I love these forest fine turns. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get and it's always an adventure. So if you guys like this stuff, um, weekly vids to come, uh, like the video, Subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Feel free to throw your comments out me. Love me. Hate me Whatever Share it with the world share it with your friends Thank you guys so incredibly much. I'll see you next week later
doing it. What's up? Oh. Say hi. Mwah. A boom boom. Uh, Mr. Deville, I'm ready for my close-up. Uh, uh. It's more awesome than her close-up. Not even that impressive. You can do better than that. Hey, kids. <laughs> you you want to ride in my ice cream truck? I don't have an ice cream truck. You don't tell them that. Oh, you want to take a ride in my ice cream truck? <laughs> <laughs> that lamp, though.